to the online family program coming to you from the Sunshine Coast Health Centre. My name is Sarah and I'm one of the counsellors here and this is an eight-part series on pitfalls to avoid for family members of uh, people that are in early recovery from addiction. Um, so number seven, um, this one is um, a big one uh, and unfortunately I see it quite a bit not getting help for relationship issues. So pretty much every guy that leaves here, I recommend either couples counseling or family counseling. Um, and uh, you know, it's really important because you know, these guys have done a bunch of healing and they're you know, moving on in their lives, but they have hurt, you know, like there's been quite a bit of hurt probably in their past. Um, from the, their behavior and addiction. And so for their loved ones to be able to move on, they need to help them with that. And often that takes some counseling. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so I definitely recommend uh, getting some help with, with relationship issues. Um, so, you know, um, don't put this off either. You know, don't, don't think, oh, we'll get to it later. This is one of the top reasons why people that people give uh, for a relapse. Of course, you know, everybody's the author of their own life, but hey, whatever can help, right? And if you really want to move forward in a positive way, then um, getting some, some help can really, really make the difference. So um, make sure that when you're deciding what therapist to go to, whether it's a couples counselor or a family counselor, um, that every person that's involved is in agreement that that's the right fit for them. And this might mean going to several different therapists and testing them out. Um, you know, if you're going with your kids and they don't have a good feeling about the one therapist, then it's no good. Everybody must feel that they can work with the person. Otherwise, um, it's really not going to be very effective. You also want to look at um, what their credentials are. and really you're looking for somebody that has a minimum of a master's level education ideally um, and also um, you know that they've got some good training in marriage and family therapy uh, some some different um, methods that are kind of well known and well researched is emo emotionally focused therapy and also the Gottman method um, so if they have any of that training you know that they're probably um, pretty well trained. So I hope that's helpful and um, next week uh, will be the last episode in this series and I want to talk about the pitfall of believing that life should be easy. <laughs> so I hope you join us then.